Twenty years ago, there were three friends, a girl and two boys. For some reason, the girl was horribly assaulted by the violent mob of people from Nikuma and was raped. Oh jeez. The two boys tried to save her, but they were captured by the violent mob. The three had their eyes, ears and mouths shut. This is what that riddle from the bed was talking about. <coughs> they were drenched in oil, or just attacked with it, stabbed and were soon up with a needle and a thread. Who was eaten by the parents? That means the parents turned a blind eye to what was happening to them. The bat can write mail, so he either can't speak or can't hear. The one who had their eyes gouged out and soon up was either the girl or the one who is in the bat. The one who had oil poured into their mouth and had it soon up was also either the girl or the one the other one who is in the bat. And now the two boys are attempting to get revenge for what happened 20 years ago. They're after Yukimura, the one responsible for causing the pollution and everything else. When I get home, I gotta restore my desktop PC. No, before that. I gotta clean out the turtle's tank. Yeah. Priorities, man. Priorities. Okay, so there was this guy on top of this chute that we've seen as Lambda, right? The one who fell into it. I guess this was the other kid. Sumio is one of the kids. This guy on top of the chute is one of the kids. And the girl who died is one of the kids. Dot dot dot. Looks fine. Well, the hard disk is clean. I guess this will do just fine. Oh, final warning from S. Inohana. I'm warning you, if you don't reply, your contract will be terminated. You're almost out of time. We should reply to him, right? Yeah, immediately. Subject, reply, final warning. My computer got fucked up by a virus and I couldn't send any mails. Sorry about it. About the bat. He must be... A a Kamui believer. I heard his name among some rumors on the internet. He hasn't made me back again yet. Apart from that, I have absolutely no info. So conversely, if you've got any new info, I'd like you to share it with me. I'm still investigating and I'll keep going. Just a quick note, that is all. I'm not sure he will be satisfied with this. Way to kick the fucking hornet's nest. I can't tell the client about the time the bat crashed into my chat. It would break my non-disclosure agreement as I was chatting with Erica. I can't explain that. Why was the girl at Mikumo raped and beaten? There must be a reason she was sacrificed. If I know who she was, I could probably figure that out too. She was the daughter of the Yukimuras. I know that already. So what is today's word? Let's see. Today's word! The eagle does not catch flies. Even if an eagle is starving to death, it won't reduce itself to eating garbage. I'm not sure about that. Animals have instincts, you know, and instincts tell them to eat whatever they can before they die, right? That's like it is, isn't it? Hmm. Let's return.
It's been a while. I guess it has. By the way... Whatever happened with those riddles you were talking about? Oh yeah, those. I finally worked them all out. Then I went on a little trip. I knew it. So you won a trip after all. Thanks to you. In that case, how about a drink? I guess I have no choice. Fix yourself one of whatever you like. So since we fixed our computer, yes, let's look at our inbox. Oh shit. News update. Yukimura mentioned bombers commit suicide. Yukimura mentioned bombers commit suicide. The perpetrators of the bombing of Yukimura Group Chairman Yukimura's mention on July 11th were found to have committed suicide. According to reports, there were two suspects, both of whom were unemployed with no known address. Currently the location, time and motive for the suicides have yet to be publicized, but the police are expected to make an announcement soon. Well, motive would probably be guilt or something, or having their revenge carried out. But that's not them, right? These are just some chumps. <clears throat> Another way from Erika. With the press embargo, this is still top secret, but it looks like Chairman Yukimura was kidnapped. The kidnappers were two people from Ikumo 77, Fuyuki and Hiseki. But Hiseki di died immediately after the Yukimura mansion bombing, so it looks like the main perpetrator was Fuyuki. Although there was an embargo on Fuyuki and Hiseki's suicides too, it was broken. Hiseki was blind and Fuyuki, the one who jumped into the smokestack and killed himself, was a deaf mute. Now don't freak out, but both men had their eyes and mouths sewn shut. Soon shut. Okay, so they really were these guys? Could it be? So most of what the bat had said matches up. I never thought this whole thing would get this bad. But why did those two return Sham and Yukimura unharmed and then kill themselves? Maybe Hiseki dying messed up their plan and so Fuyuki decided to die too? Something is definitely not right here. This whole case is still full of mysteries. Yeah, okay, so... Which one of them was which? Fuyuki, the one who jumped into the smokestack, was a deaf mute. Yeah, that's why there were these strange voice messages telling us what to do when we were playing Lambda, right? Don't freak out, but both men had their eyes and mouths soon shut. Hmm. Hiseki was blind. He couldn't do anything really, actually. Hmm. The bat still lives. Oh, no. Shit. Junk at kibble.ne.jp. This mail has been set to reach you on a specific date. I'm not the bat. My name is Hiseki. This is probably pretty disappointing for you. When I first received your mistaken mail, it was kind of fun. And so, as thanks, no actually, as a prank, I chose you to be a spectator for my little parade. You were apparently quite a good spectator. I'm happy about it. Do you like parade fireworks? Okay. So junk at kibble.in and eat.jp wasn't really a badge. The bat was Hiseki. No. I just thought he was the bat, but it turned out that... I happen to have been talking to Hiseki all along. Why was he able to write mails even though he was blind? Yeah. 
I don't fucking know, actually. This is strange, to say the least. Well, whatever, I guess. One carton of the regular. Here you go. Placebo, right? It's hot again today. Well, it's summer, so... By the way, do you have good eyesight? Not especially. I can just make out the 88 on that big sign way over there. That's actually BA from Bath. Oh! I guess I didn't notice. It's not a problem of noticing. What do you do when you watch TV and stuff? I turn the volume way up so I can see proper- what? <laughs> Are they shitting me? I turn the volume way up so I can see properly. Turning the volume way up, that's basically the same as seeing, right? Wait a second. Sound. Yeah, considering he called himself the bat. It really fucking fits, right? Bats see with echo. Because they're also pretty blind. Or pretty much blind, I think. But this conversation with the old lady. <laughs> Holy shit. Morishima Memo! <clears throat> it turns out that blind internet users aren't rare at all. There are all sorts of systems for the blind, like voice input, text reading functions and all kinds of shit. I feel like Yasiki is the kind of guy you just can't hate. He was almost definitely the bomber, but apart from that, when I think about our back and forth via email, he really had good sense for that sort of prank. I don't know how good of a spectator I was though. Follow up report to Erika. I received my final mail from the bat, or oh, Hiseki rather. I'll forward it to you. He likely died because of what they planned to do. I think the stuff these guys were doing was all part of the plan from the beginning. The HC unit is probably handling Yukimura's kidnapping. Either way, since the guys really well known, the embargo should be on for a while. It'll be a while before I can get info from the HC unit again. I wonder if Yukimura is really unharmed? Considering Hiseki and Fuyuki's feelings, it's pretty hard to think that Yukimura would come back totally unscathed. <clears throat> I don't care about the mystery anymore. Once the media gets hold of this, all the bullshit is gonna start flying again. Whatever. Anyway, apparently while I was searching for the bat, I ended up finding a different one instead. The bloodsucking type. A pretty fucked up dude. I wonder if they ever made it to the princess after all? Well, in death, they did now. So we got no new mares, right? Hmm. I wonder if this ends soon. They still need to find out that Tsumiyo was behind all this, I guess. Let's see. Erika Yukawa, subject favor. It looks something happened to the old survivor from Ikumo. 
I got a call from the old lady living next door to him this morning. She didn't know who to call, so she saw my business card and called me. <clears throat> At this point it looks like he'll be okay. But he could take a turn for the worse at any time. I want to go talk to him ASAP. But all sorts of stuff about the Yukimura news has been popping up and I can't get away. Could you go and check on him for me, please? Get hold of me later tonight and I should be able to drive out there. Okay. Yes, thank you. I guess it's best to talk to the old man before he dies off. May, that may end up not even being a joke. Yeah. Can I look at today's word? No? Yes, thank you. Today's word. Turn your hand up, the clouds. Turn it down, the rain. What? Human nature easily changes, like turning your hand over, and is unreliable, like the changing of clouds and rain. This is pretty abstract. But whatever. Let's return. And let's go to the old man, shall we? There's some really fishy shit going down. I guess I should hurry. He's an old man, there's nothing strange with him being sick or near death, right? Or is there? I hope the old dude's okay. Huh? Oh. Do you have any relatives close by? I've been living here on my own for years now. But the old lady next door takes good care of me. So I do okay. Really? By the way, you're... Uh... Oh, it's you. Do you really remember me? Yeah, Fuyuki. Good to see you, boy. It's Morishima. I'm Fuyuki's friend. I see. Yeah. I know the name of one more too. Hiseki. No, wait. Hiseki. Oh, yeah. And the girl. Riru. Riru. That's her name? Yeah. A relative of the Yukimura family. The Yukimura family? I see. So this Riru girl was sacrificed by the crazy mob because of her ties to the Yukimura family. You didn't know that? No, sorry, it's the first I've heard of it. The fourth poem. Eaten by the parents. So that's what that meant. And one more. Huh? The deaf one. I remembered. Huh? What are you talking about? The deaf one. That was Riru, wasn't it? Hiseki, have you forgotten? What? Your... Your boss, right? Who is? Come on, buddy. Old man. It's still too early to die just yet. I can't believe you've forgotten. I guess you must... You must have gone soft in the head too. The fuck are you talking about? My boss. Was there one more person? Oh, oh yeah. What the fuck? This guy, man. Dot dot dot. Who? Dot dot dot. Oh. That's it. His final words. Sumio.